everybody, I am Anshika Singh, a final year master's student at the Department of Geology. And today I am here with you to give you a little perspective of an earth science student uh, regarding climate change. So we will be answering following questions in this video. What meaning does climate change hold in the life of an earth science student? How is climate affecting our society and livelihood? And lastly, how you of the world can together fight the climate crisis? For a geologist, although we are normal beings, yet somehow we grow very fond of the concept of time. For us, time and processes run in scales of millions or minimum thousands. And climate and tectonics are an integral part of our Earth's past. So for us, climate has varied gradually, sometimes drastically in geological past. For instance, Paleo-Eocene Thermal Maxima, Last Ice Age, and several mass extinctions that marked sharp change in diversity and climate. So the question that arises keeping in mind the current scenario is whether climate change is an in inevitable process or not. Geologically, yes, climate will change and fluctuate over time. But again, are we humans fueling the process of climate change? The extent of anthropogenic effect on climate have been extravagant in last century. In fact, an epoch Anthropocene was proposed, defining the commencement of significant human impact on Earth. The degree of climate change is something that we humans control now. Technological and industrial revolution have been marked by drastic increase in ca carbon emissions. Two main causes being resources overexploitation and population overgrowth that surpasses the capacity of Earth's regeneration. As an earth science student, it affects me immensely to know the devastating impact we humans are having on our planet. Exploiting more than we can restore and producing more than we can consume will take us nowhere. Climate change will affect me in a similar way as it will affect people or society around me. For now, repercussion may be untimely rain, changing weather patterns, um, sudden floods, etc. But these negligible, seeming and insignificant changes are the elephant in the room that we deny to see or understand. India is primarily an agricultural land and one of the climate vulnerable countries on earth with diverse microclimate. Farmers in India suffer huge losses due to the effect of climate change. In recent years, India has witnessed extreme weather events, be it Kedarnath floods, Kerala floods, recent locust attack on northern India, hailstorm and Orissa cyclone. Coastal India has seen many cyclonic events in these few years. Scientists predict it as one of the effects of increasing sea surface temperature and global warming. The rise in annual mean sea surface temperature by 2030 ranges from 1.7 to 2 degrees Celsius, major cause being human-induced climate change. Nearly 80% of the world energy comes from fossil fuel. This dependence on fossil fuel is a harsh reality that um, every country in the world is facing right now. The most commonly formed notion about geologists, are, geologists is that they are mainly concerned with exploring and extraction of uh, fossil fuel, which is not true. And again, we straight up ignore the reality that our current industry and entire population is dependent upon the uh, in, uh, dependent upon extraction of ore minerals and energy from fossil fuels. So, what is the solution? Definitely, we need to phase out of fossil fuels. But fossil fuels are not gonna disappear overnight. Of course, we live in a carbon-constrained world and the energy landscape hopefully will change dramatically in coming years. But what we require is shift of energy uh, consumption and uses and shifting towards a more renewable and uh, cleaner energy. So what exactly can youth of the world do to fight the current climate crisis and change the picture? Of course, the first step uh, will be uh, to educate ourselves and to aware ourselves and then act upon it. Act upon it like our life depends upon it. Uh, we should let the concept of climate sensitivity come naturally to us. Secondly, political momentum must be built up in order to curb this uh, problem of climate crisis. Again, uh, climate leadership uh, must bloom tremendously in order to change the current figures of fossil fuel consumption.
the solution starts right from the roots of the society what is really needed is to incorporate these changes in our daily lifestyle it's like reinforcing the hollow foundation of our earth climate change is technically a youth issue be it considering the share of population we make or the scope of accommodating the changes and sensitizing towards the environment relatively we are adaptable and can make wise choices of low carbon and sustainable lifestyle bioscience literacy plays a crucial role in all societal issues that involve earth in order to create sustainable economic system the sustainable development goal number 13 is a universal call to combat climate change and its impacts we can do our part by inculcating and spreading the culture of climate awareness in our workplaces and institutions be it during a nature's trek or a normal day at college or office we must consistently make ourselves grow closer to creating a safe and sustainable planet